Good morning, guys. Hey, time changed. It's five o'clock. I feel like it's four o'clock, though. Hopefully, you guys remembered to switch your clocks forward because we lost an hour. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over Molen stock, and it is not looking good. Okay, we have broken down some serious areas on the charts, and we need to talk about where we could potentially go next. Before I get started, though, guys, don't forget to like this video. I truly appreciate that. Hopefully we can get this over 250 likes so we can get this content out to more people, especially people in Mullen stock. So we know exactly where we could go down and we know the upside potential for this stock that we are all in. Think about subscribing if you're brand new to the channel. I make Mullen content every single day. Don't forget to grab your coffee, of course. Here's mine. All right, guys, let's get right into these charts. Besides the stocks, besides the charts, don't forget to write out five things that you're grateful for. We are truly blessed to have another day and enjoy your Sunday with your family and friends or whoever it might be. This isn't going to be a long video. I know your time is valuable, so let's get right into it. You can see right here that Mullen closed at 17 cents on Friday. Okay, it's crazy. Every day we've been closing pretty much at least a penny lower than the day before. We've actually been in a downtrend since February 3rd. So about a month and a half now, we have been completely red. Now this is very scary because we have not gone on this long of a run uh, down in a long time. Actually, before I started even covering this stock, um, so I started covering this stock about uh, November 1st is when I made my first YouTube video for Mullen Company, but I was in the stock I was in this stock um, back in September, I believe. So that's when I first purchased Molin. And the first price that I purchased Molin at was 58 cents. And I, saw it, I started dollar cost averaging down. And I've been in all these runs and all these pullbacks. And we've been making content every single day, un trying to understand exactly where Molin's gonna move next. So you can see right here that we are in a huge falling wedge, right? So this is bearish. And I think everyone has known that we've been bearish these last couple of days. Could we go lower? Yes, we can. And I'm pretty confident that we will go lower. So you want to manage your risk. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This, of course, is not financial advice. You have to do your own research and do what's best for you. I'm just telling you where my head is at and what I'm doing with Mullen stock moving forward. So again, I haven't sold any shares since the last time I sold that share with the Patreon team, but I am looking to add more soon. If you guys want to know exactly when I'm buying more Molen stock and my lowest possible worst case scenario for Molen stock, check out the links down below. Join the team. It's $7 a month. I go over a lot of chart analysis with different stocks. We talk a lot about Molen stock. We talk a lot about mindset and leveling up in every single area of your life this next year so that you can win in all areas and it's worth it. But again, we are in this falling wedge, which means we could actually move a lot lower. We've also made a new low, which is not great because our base was set at just above 18 cents. So we completely crashed through that. Now at 17 cents, it's not like we completely broke it, but we did break it and we have to acknowledge that. So what that means is we could go a lot lower, right? Because we've made a new lower low on the stock price. The thing that does have me bullish still, and I will always preach this because I've analyzed this stock and I've looked at other stocks and this is just how stocks work, is the RSI right here. It's kind of sloppy, but we have made a new higher low, okay? So if you see the white line all the way to the left over there, this was back in October, October 18 of 2022, we made a low a new low for Mullen at that time at 22 cents. At this point, we then ran the next week all the way to 60 cents. We ran over 200%. Now, do I think that will happen for Mullen tomorrow, right? Because today's Sunday. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But what I am saying is we're making a higher low, which is very bullish. I don't show, I don't have it on this chart, but even back in October, when we made that new low on the stock price, the RSI was a higher low from previous stock prices. And then we ran. So now we are just falling more red every single day, but we're making a higher low on the RSI. So that's very bullish to me. We could see more downside prices, absolutely. 
but I do see us turning around here soon and going back up to what level? Well, I'll tell you exactly what level. My next price target would be once we bottomed out and once we've hit the target that I'm looking to buy Mullen back at, the next positive price target is about 29 cents and then it would be about 32 cents. And then ultimately, I would want us to fill the gap up here at 36 and a half cents, okay? We do have to break some ascending, some descending trend lines though, and they have to be solid breaks for us to move higher. Nice short video for you to show you exactly where I think we're heading next. This is the time I would be dollar cost averaging into Molin, especially if I didn't have any shares already. I bought him pretty heavy in the 20s and in the 30s. My cost basis is not at 17 cents, which is disappointing. You know, I am red right now, like most people are. I can admit that to you. But I do think we're going to move lower and I do have certain prices that I would be buying at. Again, join the team if you want. It's an awesome community. Join our free Discord if you want. Follow me on Twitter, links down below. I post a lot of stuff about Molin and HLBZ. And tune in tomorrow. I'll be giving you an update on Molin, especially when market is opening. Have a great day. See you on the next one.